Hello everybody, MSJM. Welcome to Techopolis 2, uh, where I have been doing a little bit of work off camera. So now I've rearranged my little work area for thermal here. Got it set up like so. You'll see we've got the bottler over on this side. Uh, no reason to have the pipes going both ways off out of out of this um, lava pool and we'll just keep all the RF stuff over on this side for now and then so I had to make another um, magma generator to uh, to power that guy down there so running the cables from here there just left me you know susceptible to getting zapped so nobody needs that in their life all right, last time we left off at uh, getting the niter, crystal base, and prismarine shards. Accidentally um, completed off these three quests when I uh, broke all the machines to rearrange where it all was. So we did that off camera, unfortunately. So um, with the niter, we just put sandstone into the pulverizer and get a chance to get niter. I ended up with like about 12 or so. And then to get this crystal base, you need liquid glass and a crystallizer with that niter. Um, the liquid glass comes from a magma crucible. So the way I've got it set up here, I've got my magma crucible in the middle. I've got one crystallizer over here working away on some of it niter that I've started collecting and on this one I've got one with water because some of these crystal bases need to go towards this to get the prismarine. Now I wonder if there's a another recipe to get prismarine. Not at this point now. Can't mine this. There's no miner for it. All right. So yeah, that's the only way to get it for now, I guess, is to uh, put it in there. We need these prismarine shards so that we can uh, pulverize them down to get the prismarine dust. And that is the basis of the entire next chapter here. So the crystals chapter. So pretty easy recipe. I just need four of those. For those in a research paper. A research paper. <laughs> oh yeah, so off camera I did the niter paper, which was just for the niter and for the advanced techium. And then uh, had to buy this is the one thing that you do have to buy i i believe i talked about this earlier um, but buying the ore for the niter because there's no other way to get it so just under the um it's actually elite research you have to do this book like i showed you and then you have to go to the ores or us go here and buy a node of the niter ore and that's how we get that and i've just added it to the system here so it's processing automatically coming in slowly but surely i might throw some caps on that because um actually let's do that without even thinking about it because we're gonna need a good amount of it um, just to get through um the next chapter and to have any hope of getting a decent amount of the uh, next elite tachyum ingots. All right, 
that should speed up the nighter for now because I'm currently only at 11 plus the couple that I started earlier. Submit that, and now we can get the crystal fragments out of the light gray colored stone. How much do I have? I'm still at a thousand of that, so that's that's lots. I think it's about 16 works best. If you need to get some extra, then go ahead and do. Do that, but this should Forgot. I gotta re move. I gotta move this one down a little bit. Cause I can walk up on this one because I placed this one far enough away with my stair decoration there. More than enough. And then these guys will give us the crystalline. So I'll just throw this in down here and bring you back when we've got some of that rocking. All right, things are processing along here. So I've got just a stack of glass in there. Uh, the config in here is the right is set to output and then the auto output is enabled to make sure that that goes over that way. Oh, look at that. I was doing some busy work and came back to find out we can get some more. So I set up the miner for the crystal. That gave us this crystalline, its only job in life is to be pulverized into the crystalline dust. So it's the only thing we can do with this at this point, I guess, I should say, maybe. Uh, but when the crystalline dust comes around, there's a few different recipes in here. So um, one is for this infused crystalline, which is used in the ultimate tachyum ingot. But uh, we're not getting that far along just yet, so we'll bring it back, just talk about this crystalline dust. It's used in making all of these um, colored gems, right? So the ruby dust is in the induction smelter with a crystal base, some of that dust, and some redstone. And similarly for the sapphire dust, we need the lapis dust, which I already crushed up a bunch of, as you see. And then the trickiest one here is the peridot, which requires us to um, pulverize the prismarine to get the prismarine dust. So it not only takes one of these crystal bases to make the prismarine to get the prismarine dust, it takes another one. So for every, or about half of your crystal base production goes into making the peridot. And then the other half is split between the sapphire and the ruby. Well, you're done enough for me. We need you now anyways. Was it? Oh, right, right, right. It's not a crafting recipe. It's an induction recipe, SJ. Come on. Got that. getting started so then these can go into the glass crystallizer because you need to add the glass to them to get the gem 
back out of them. And the reason why we're doing these gems is in the next chapter for the Elite Technium. We've already got lead, so we just have to craft that into the sheet metal. We've already got the Electrum gears that we were, we were making them originally for the machine frames anyways. So we just needed extra to go into the Technium and then we're on to the Amethyst. And the Amethyst is done in the induction smelter again with one of each of the gems to get just one Amethyst shard. shard. So this is your one of the big steps um, we have, or the one of the first big steps um, in figuring out automation to get all of that together. Now there's this way where you would have like, I don't know how many induction smelters. Oh, I gotta pull that out of there before that is allowed to even start. Get me 13 more, which is fine for now. Some of this is coming in now because we got the sub miner for it. So, yeah, like I said, so you'd have to do a line for sapphire, a line for peridot, a line for um, ruby. And then have all of them come into another um, induction smelter on the end. However, there is another option available to us. It is in the elite research here. So down at the end here is the gem ores. So it'll cost you 16 tech bucks to just unlock the recipe. And then sim pretty simple recipe once you've got the elite technium for it which is we're just a step away from it right but we've got to figure out this big step first but what that gives us access to in the ores or us section here is gem ores so once you pay your 12 you get you can get ruby sapphire or peridot ores These we can do the minor for, right? Would be a tier six support frame. And you would have to induction smelt. Or I guess, yeah, I guess you could put pulverize into induction smelt and double them coming out there. So that'll get you a decent rate on each of the gems, but it's going to cost you 36 tech bucks, was it? Gem ores are 12 each, so that's 36 alone for those. And you have to also pay this 16 here. So that's 42. And I have to my name right now 13. Um, but there is um, recipes for tech bucks. Um, Basically, you put a piece of technium, your highest tier of technium in the middle, and surround it with bronze ingots, and that will get you a certain number of tech bucks. So the more advanced you are, the more tech bucks you get. So obviously, we'd always want to be using the highest tier that you have available to you, um, just because this bronze cost is, is pretty high when you're talking about only getting four bucks out of one of your advanced technium. One buck for eight bronze ingots, if you only have access to basic technium. Uh, but we should have this elite pretty soon, which means we should be able to buy those up. It'll only cost us uh, seven times eight. So on just, just shy of a stack of bronze ingot, which isn't too bad overall, right? Especially now that we have induction smelters that we can do the smelting in. We're not limited to the um, immersive engineering one, which I've taken out even now, and uh, don't know if I want to change that setup for those machines, but it's a little bit of a pain 
using the auxiliary power. When you want to load these up with a bunch of things, if you're going to be doing a, a, a resource run from here to there, you might as well do everything, right? And that does put a load on that. So I might have to redesign that so it's easier on the power. I'm overloaded on lava bottles, so I don't need any more of that. Oh, and I was waiting for... I was blabbering on, but I didn't have the things going that I wanted to. So I'll be back when that's finished uh, processing the gems for us, and we'll make the first amethyst shard together. It's finished now. We get the big bada boom. I'm cooking up a whole bunch of rubies because the diamond and emerald book, which is the next step. After that requires four ruby blocks, so that's kind of the one that I'm mostly focusing on for right now. I'll put one of each of these in there, and that will give us our amethyst. Go back to doing bases. Do this, I can have access to uh, inputs from that side and enabled, and there we go. So now I got access to two of these, so I can cook up my ruby dust into the ruby blocks there. So I think that just about squares away everything for Elite Techium. It's just the grind now getting the Amethyst Shards. But once I have the Elite, then that's probably my first few expenditures will be to get some Tech Bucks together to go back and buy those Gem Ores, because that's just going to make the automations that much easier to do, I I'm pretty sure. Uh, rather than needing like hundreds of thousands of niter to go into to go into the system to do that multi-step process yeah 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 i think the gem wars are the next investment that we need to make with our tech bucks however i think that is it for this episode actually let's just push this magic button here and we got 10 more so we we'll, might not even have to buy that many by the end of it all. Um, but I guess, yeah, the other thing to look forward to is refined storage. So we need to get the next tier of Techium and some diamond blocks, which won't be hard by the time we get there. But we're, we're pretty much almost there. We need to do some power and some uh, mechanism. In the next couple of episodes and then we'll be on to the elite or on to the ultimate we're, we're at the elite level now but looking forward to uh, what what we have coming up there and then refined storage only costs 16 so that's pretty good there and then we'll truly be able to do some automating anyways i've been sjm that's uh techopolis 2 I hope you enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you for checking it out, and we will see you in the next one.